All right, I think we're live. Welcome everyone. Doing a little bit of uh, Adam RPG today. Got a couple of new things, a couple more tricks up my sleeve. Uh, yeah, so here we are. I think we're all set up. Uh, it took a little bit to get this. It's weird, I, I tried this game out a little bit last night. Um, it was running just fine, just perfectly. Um, and then all of a sudden I get it into my streaming software and everything goes wrong. So. <laughs> It's nothing to do with the game, it's just it's the technicalities of different engines and whatnot. So all right, we are good. Make sure I'm okay, good, I'm muted. Um music turned off in the main menu, but there's a little bit of background music here normally. This is Adam RPG. It is a game I've actually had my eye on a little bit. The uh, devs were kind enough to supply me with a Steam key, so this is provided free of charge. Um it's available on Steam for about 15 bucks. It's an indie game, I believe, made by in Russia, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and you can see, as soon as you get into the actual game, it's incredibly heavily inspired by Fallout, which I think is awesome. I it gets a thumbs up for me. So I played it a little bit last night and I have a couple thoughts already, but I think I'll just go through what I think of it as I play with you and we'll see how it goes. So as always, uh, yeah, feel free to ask me questions in the comments. I am listening and uh, also got a couple more tricks up my sleeve as well. So I got a stream deck so I can do kind of fun stuff. I've got a couple, for example, I have my little Croy here. So <laughs> it's one little trick I got. Uh, I've got a couple more. I'm working on my, my set of dank memes. So we'll see how that goes. All right, let's do a new game. So this took me a little bit. Uh, to get my head around. Um, obviously, this is game is still in early access, so uh, bear that in mind. Welcome, everyone, to the stream, by the way. So, uh, from what I could tell, this is very similar to the special system in Fallout. Um, some of the names are obviously different, but it's pr approximately the same thing. Um, you've got strength, uh, endurance, dexterity, uh, intellect, and, and attention, which is, if you're a fan of Fallout, that's essentially perception personality, which is essentially charisma and luck. So roughly the same idea. And uh, you can you get five extra points and then uh, all fives here. And you've got a lot of skills. These are very similar to Fallout as well. You get your melee, uh, you have unarmed melee, uh, small guns, large guns, thrown, um, essentially uh, speech, barter, gambling, survival, or outdoorsman, depending on which version of Fallout you're used to. First aid, uh, sneaking, lock picking, pickpocket, technology tinkering. Um, roughly what you'd expect, um, but you'll also notice, and I'll just preface this, this is obviously, I believe this was made um, by the nice people across the pond. Um, I believe in Russia, if I'm not mistaken. So the language here is a little rough. Um, there's some grammatical errors, there's some typos and stuff like that. So you... Uh, just bear with it. Like, for example, we got pickpocket, lock picking, which is two words with a capital P. Here, G is not uh, uppercase. There's lots of inconsistencies like that. So I'm a bit of pedantic when it comes to grammar and things like that. So uh, it jumps out at me just because of the j jobs I do. But anyway, let's go to character real quick. Um, you can pick a, a face, and it kind of randomly generates a gendered name for the face. So like here, it's Arthur. If I go back, now it's Taurus. So it generates a random name as well as the face. And it actually generates a backstory, which is kind of cool. I haven't seen many games generate a random backstory for you. Not that it really matters. It's pretty much just text. But if you want to get into the role playing, you can write yourself a little backstory. That's all cool. That's cool. Um, yeah, I, I appreciate you guys coming by Adam RPG. Yeah, I know it's early access and stuff like that. I just I have to point it out just because it kind of jumped out at me. It is a little jarring at times. But yeah, I, I'm sure you'll probably work on the grammar over the next period of time. I guess you're trying to go for a full launch in February if the uh, Kickstarter is is correct. So that's that's a good goal. I think you these things are definitely solvable. Everything I've run into so far has been solvable. The actual engine runs really well. So let me create a guy. Um, I don't know if this actually affects your looks. It just kind of affects your, your little portrait there. Um, I found a guy yesterday that I kind of liked. Um... Sure, I guess. Could go with a Russian name or I'll just go with Indigo, I think. 
Cool. And I think that actually the the backstory might might just be kind of generic, and then you can type it out if you like to. Uh, so, all right. So basically, uh, I could kind of min max my character here, or I could kind of go for something interesting. Uh, I am always a sucker for putting essentially perception. Here it's called attention, all the way up to max. That's for like range combat and stuff like that. But I might go a little bit more uh, balanced here. Um, maybe I can make a kind of smooth talker. That could be kind of fun. Uh, let's see, what could I... I don't really want to cut out anything. It, this is similar to Fallout in that luck kind of affects everything. But maybe I can kind of squeeze a little bit out of stuff. So maybe I can kind of smooth talking shooter. That might be kind of interesting. Uh, and you can uh, apply... A sp skill points there isn't a tagging system from what i could tell so you just one point for one point um and yeah so basically i definitely want to add some small guns they do seem to have a really high bonus for melee no matter what you choose so that's an interesting uh or sorry not uh, unarmed combat martial arts so no matter what kind of character you get i mean even if you cut out strength if you have minimum strength, minimum dexterity, you still start out with uh, 56 unarmed, which is substantially high, actually, for a level one character. The phone is interesting. Um, I should probably add some dex. Uh, yeah, I think that adds. Yeah, it adds a lot of other things like dodging and, and uh, action points and whatnot. Um, so, hey, Daybreaker, how's it going? Yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, I just happened to, this game kind of fall on my lap, fell on my lap. I didn't realize it was coming out, so try it out. I do want to try out some more Hellgate with you soon, Daybreaker. That was actually a lot of fun. Um, so I, I tend to kind of dump melee because I usually try to get guns early on, but I might add, uh, I'll pretend I didn't already play the game. The game actually has quite a runway. You don't actually get items right away. It takes a bit. But I do want to do small guns. I should probably add some speech craft and maybe some barter. Uh, ooh, I don't want to end small guns on a 49, do 50. All right, we'll see how this goes. This probably isn't that great, but we'll try it. So there's a bit of dialogue. None of the dialogue that I've seen yet is voiced other than the intro. Um, okay, so this is the, uh, this is where the game starts off. There is actually a pretty well-made, um, sort of After effects -y sort of intro, which has, uh, voice acting and stuff like that. It was pretty cool. But, um, yeah, so the, here let's kind of see that the, the current localization is a little rough. Um, I don't know if it's written in English or if it's translated, but yeah, it's, 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 it's fixable. It's not too bad. It's just a little, a little rough. That's all. Um, but yeah, basically it goes over the idea. It goes over the brief history of the world, sets you in the world building and stuff like that. And, uh, goes over some basics. Essentially you're, uh, you're in the USSR around, uh, basically I think the drop bomb from what I got from the intro, the bombs hit in the 1980s and something like decades later, it's post-apocalyptic wasteland. So the tech level is like 1980s uh, USSR, which is kind of cool. Um, all right. And yeah, you're basically your young member of the secret bunker society, Adam, established back in USSR. Your main mission of the organization is to find, restore, and secretly introduce old new technologies to survivors. And uh, that is, this is why Adam sends expeditions to the wastelands. And recently, one of such expeditions, led by a prominent Adam member, General Morozov, stepped, uh, stopped contacting the main base. So basically, you're you're here to investigate what's going on, and you're part of Adam, which is like a you know special forces thing. So pretty cool, um, and very epic. Your character starts out with an ugly sweater. Look at that beautiful thing right there. Hey, Mandalore. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I'm liking it so far. 
Okay, so here are these guys coming up onto you, and here's your first, basically, a skill check, essentially. Uh, you've got some guys dressed, dressed up in uh, khaki uniforms, but due to the post-apocalyptic nature, these guys could be really anybody. It doesn't mean they're necessarily uh, military. And the guy's, like, basically kind of, uh, you know, intimidating you here. And, uh... Essentially, they're trying to be threatening. They've got you outnumbered, and they're looking at your tent and other resources, and, they, and they're and they essentially going to probably rob you. And uh, they smiles at you. And so here you get your first, your first option here, where you can essentially... You can use Speechcraft to try to talk them out of it. Uh, you can kind of try to intimidate them with Strength. I don't think I added anything to Strength, so this is probably wouldn't be a good option. I do have some Speechcraft. So maybe I'll talk myself out of it. Um, you can just also just like give up or just tell them tell them off. But I think I'll try a speech craft. Scraf, excuse me, speech craft check. <laughs> so basically, I say, listen, I agree that sharing is caring, but all I have is the bare minimum for survival. Be a human being, leave me alone. So I got a success. I got the success last time I played, but it didn't really help me out that much. <laughs> So he says, don't sweat, rookie. We won't hurt you. I just want to browse through your stuff for a sec. Who knows? Maybe we won't take everything. And you can lie down and rest while we're at it. And so they come up and he smacks you. Not a very nice gentleman. All right, cool. So I wake up and pretty much all my stuff is gone. Uh, all right, what was the... I'm trying to remember. What was the inventory key? I don't know. Completely blanked out. So yeah, I pretty much have nothing. So you literally have nothing. So you don't even start with a gun or armor or anything like that. So there's a canteen right here, I guess. Um, it's empty. And here's the game. Basically, uh, I do like the way they did this. Basically, it's a 3D game, fully 3D. But you essentially uh, have a bit of rotation, a little bit of zoom. Not a whole lot. You can change the angle just a bit from like top down to like essentially the old school Fallout uh, look. But essentially it's... It's basically the same as the old school Fallout. I don't know. I think it has it has squares. You see that? Yeah, it has it has just a square hex system. Although it doesn't show you those squares until it gets into combat. So it's similar to Fallout in structure. Um, but yeah, it's got it's got a decent look. It's it's a it's fairly standard, but it looks pretty sharp. It, it does look pretty sharp. Um. I think I went that way. And it does uh, basically the same thing as the old game, old Fallout games where you've got a green area to exit. So you can see the inspiration of Fallout is very, very thick here. You even notice like uh, the interface here, you've got your aim shots, just like the original Fallout games, your regular shots, it costs one AP more. You've got your AP bar here and you can switch to your alternate weapon. And in this case, unarmed, it's kicking. So it's very... If you've played Fallout, you'll be very, very much at home with this. It's very similar to this uh, game. You even got your, uh, I think a reload here somewhere. But uh, yeah, I mean, the interface and everything is just kind of really yells Fallout. It has a slightly different uh, equipment system, but it's got the two slots. It's got the the vertical scroll uh, inventory. Very much um, inspiration from Fallout, which I like. I feel right at home. I didn't really have to spend much time Learning anything? Oh, there's some boxes over here. I did. I missed that the first time. I personally like the UI. I think it's pretty clean. Um, I think some people may not. Uh, let's see. So if I remember right, you can click on something. I can try to unlock. I don't have any lockpicks or anything. Oh, I got it this time. Cool. So it's from electrical tape. I'm not sure what that is for yet. Is there anything else I can loot from right here? Not really. Doesn't look like it. 
But yeah, I mean, it's a it's a pretty clean look. I, I like the look of the game. It's it's not uh, crazy detailed, but it, it seems pretty solid. And it does have a kind of hard line here for the uh, beyond the realm, beyond the X of the world. So it kind of looks like almost like a little board game, like a little bit of a, like a Warhammer set or whatever. But um, so far, I I've been happy with the interface. It does have the little the little log at the bottom left. Um, my face is in the way right now, but it does have a little log down there. Where let me see if I can move my face so you, can actually, you guys can actually read it. Yeah, that's better. Um, but yeah, it does. It does have all all the trimmings of a Fallout game. It's very very similar. I, I hate to keep on repeating myself, but this game is so similar that I can't help but compare it all the time. So. So, yeah. Um, yeah, the UI has been cleaned up. I mean, 20 years of improvements and stuff like that definitely show uh, in modern games. So I, the UI is definitely cleaner and it seems a lot more scalable. Like for example, at higher resolutions, you can double, at least double the size of the UI. So I would, I'm playing at 1080p right now, but normally when I play this, play games like this, I played at 3440 by 1440, which makes all the UI like tiny. But in this game, I could double the size, so it, it makes it nice and big and readable. Pretty clean look overall. So, um, the favorite buttons, I'm not sure. It doesn't really have an options menu. All it has is video options right now, so I'm sure that's going to be added at some point. So anyway, I read, after a whole day of wandering, you start to notice signs of inhabitants, a small field, a pasture, and finally a makeshift wooden sign with bullet holes in it. The name Octredno on it shows that you're on the right track. It's already nighttime when you find yourself at the entrance of a small shabby village. Here you can restock your supplies, earn a couple, earn a couple of rubles, and importantly learn where to find Bunker 317. So we've got our first little mystery here. Um, I kind of like the look of the nighttime. Oh, I can't really see here, but there's a guy here at the gate of the, the city. But... Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be a lot added in the final game. The, again, this is early access, so... Alright, before you stands a strongly built man at age 30. He is wearing a mil weathered military jacket and holds a large gun in his hands. On further inspection, he seems like an affable... affable guy that would probably welcome a conversation with a random stranger. He absently chews a blade of grass, but upon seeing you, he livens up. So I'm probably going to paraphrase this just because I'm horrible at reading uh, things on the spot. <laughs> So, all right, so this guy seems pretty friendly, so I'm going to say hello back. And uh, he loosens his gun, you know, loosens up, doesn't seem as, as threatening. His name's Yan. Uh, I'm trying to find the guys who ripped, off, ripped me off and took all my gear, so I'm saying I'm looking for somebody. Uh, but I don't really know who, so I can't really be very specific, but I'll try to ask him some questions. Was there a troop of military types in the village today? Yes. Yeah, that's a good question. So I'm going to ask him that. Alright. So he said that a squad of troops came by not long ago. Uh, had some good weapons. And seemed pretty serious. And I think they left. Yeah, rested a day and then moved on. And they said they are going on an expedition to the ruins. So I'm asking where the ruins are. Alright. He takes my map and marks a small black cross in one spot. So that's basically my my uh, mission hook right there. So I should probably chase that. And I'll be on my way. I think, I, I think last time I asked the guy if I he had any work. There's some people in here that have some work. But yeah, it's, it's pretty good. If you zoom in on the textures and stuff, there's some pretty good texture work here. It's I uh, at 1080p, I this is pretty high detail stuff here. It's got a pretty good, pretty good look to it. Uh, you know, it's got similar sort of decrepit, cracked, you know, look. I really like the the usage. They use a lot of um, what is that called? Corrugated uh, metal panels or something like that. I, I forget what that's exactly called, but they use the metal get it, metal panels and things to weight them down. Like one thing I really got off of this game is that it's designed. Uh, kind of realistically, like this is how people would kind of 
re uh, put together shacks if they didn't have proper tools or equipment or anything like that. Like they, they just weight down pieces of plywood and, and metal to kind of keep make a makeshift roof, which is pretty cool. There's farms here, like things that you don't always think of, but like any world would need like food and things like that. So the world is pretty, pretty fleshed out. I noticed that uh, similarly to the original games, like things were fleshed out where, you know, things make sense. So. So yeah, and as far as I know, this game's almost exclusively funded by Kickstarter. I'm not sure if they've got a publisher, but I, I think I read that they don't really have a marketing budget. So I'm assuming this is all pretty much crowdfunded. So this is amazing for a crowdfunded game. So there's these guys here. Um, this. Oh, I have to get closer to her. Whoa. <laughs> Oops. Oh Lord. Oh, I didn't save. Uh, there. I accidentally was in combat mode. I don't mean to do that. <laughs> uh, I think that's why their little red border was around. So let me just do the same thing that I did last time. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I clicked that and so everything was highlighted. So if I click it again, yeah, now it's disabled. I just wanted to talk to her. Yeah, so um, as they said in the chat, it's been kickstarted in their own money. So this is definitely a... Uh, a uh, passion project, so it's really cool. I'm I'm happy to play games like this. So let me not kill this woman and try to talk to her. Good. <laughs> Basically, Connor <laughs> Falcon punched uh, the first person I found. So, <laughs> so before he sends the young woman, she's concentrating. I try to ask her stuff, but she doesn't. Uh, personality. Huh. So she, uh, I interrupted her. She was looking at something and she puts a pencil behind her ear or whatever. So asking her some questions. Uh, looking for work. Can you point me towards some? She says that everybody's looking for work. She can't help me, but she recommends uh, Comrade Kovalev, our village head. Okay. But he won't do business with someone he's never seen before. Um, so she says that if she did, I do some chores for her, she could recommend me. Um, so she needs some toadstools, basically mushrooms. Um, I can try to convince her, looks like, with some speech crap to maybe just skip the mushroom quest. And, but I failed, so I gotta get her some mushrooms. Alright, let me do that. I'll need to get with somebody because I don't have anything. I literally have punch and kick, and that's it. So... So there's some people here. Um, one advantage of having no voice acting currently, I'm not sure if that's planned down the road, but uh, you pretty much everybody you can talk to and have conversations with, which is nice. It isn't just like the one-liners, so that's kind of nice. Um, we asked this guy. Okay, he's not really interested in talking to me, but uh, I'm asking if there's any rumors. Uh, he saw something, some weird critters around the village. Someone needs to stomp them out. But until then, if you don't value life much too much, you can go through that gate and pick some mushrooms. Okay. Cool. It's actually uh, darker than I, it was when I first got in here. Um, so here at this point, this is a little bit before I, I ended yesterday. Basically... Uh, I have to go find some mushrooms, and they're big bread mushrooms, but they're usually always accompanied by these little, by different creatures. And actually, I fought like three or four different types of creatures so far. All right, so here's the combat. So like I said, it's a it's a grid, and um, it should it's pretty cool. It reminds me of XCOM a little bit, where it shows as you use points, uh, it'll show you where you can get to on the grid, which is pretty which is pretty handy. So it'll only show me the area that I can actually get to with all my action points. Right now I have eight action points. Um, so by default, your punch is AP, you know, three action points. If you do an aimed punch, it's four. Uh, if you do kick, it's four. If aimed kick, it's five. So right now I only have eight. So I could walk up to this, this guy and punch him twice. Uh, that would probably be something I could do this turn. But I'm not very good at punching, so. Uh, 
but what I found yesterday is that kicking is super OP. Yeah, it's like as accurate or more accurate, and I do like way more damage. So don't bother punching if you if you can help it. That's my best advice. Okay, kick, kick. Oh, missed him that time. Yeah. I mean, you're generally going to kill guys in like two hits with, with kicking here in this area. Oh, there's a bee. A giant wasp thingy. So I could get to him and punch him once. But I'm going to be cheap and just let him fly to me. All right. I can kick him twice. Do some midair kicks. So yeah, very similar to Fallout in its, in its basics. Um... I haven't fought a ton of stuff yet, so I haven't tried out like ranged combat or anything like that, but the basics seem very similar. <laughs> oh, you're gonna like this. Uh for those who watched my uh my Fallout stream, I added this uh <laughs> over here. Or is it this way? Yeah. <laughs> so if I ever need to add Roy to my uh my live stream, I can do that. Um so, yeah, I mean, just like Fallout, you're going to be wanting to go for any advantage. Just like any RPG, really. You go for any advantage you can. So, here I've noticed that kicking is the bomb. So, use use kicking wisely. Um, it's like a little caravan here. I did get the mushroom, right? Yeah, I got the mushroom. So, I think she, I think she wanted uh, to get five mushrooms. And just let... Uh, you can barter with pretty much anybody. And everything has, like, a, uh, a value. And I think that's all algorithmically adjusted by your barter skill. It's cool. I could really use a weapon, but I have really nothing to trade yet. I have a spoon and some tape, which that may be, uh, uh, what's this guy saying? This guy is saying it's dangerous to walk alone around here. Um, yeah, seeing a lot of monsters and stuff like that. And oh, it says I can cook my food. Oh yeah, one thing that's kind of cool, which makes all of a sudden makes it uh, a bit more than what Fallout was, is that it uh, this game has a built-in survival system, a la the survival mode in New Vegas and other games like that, which is pretty cool. Um. Oh, he has a paradise. Oh, okay, so if I have a pair of dice, I can play with them as well. But I, let me try to cook something here. It doesn't... I say I'm, I'm mildly hungry right now. So... How do I use this? Use... Oh, do I have any food? That's the question. I don't actually have any food. I mean, I suppose I have mushrooms, but I'm that's a quest item, so... If I had food, I could cook it there, so that's good to know. Let me just save around here real quick. Um, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I was wondering if that was a Zelda reference. It does seem similar enough. Okay, we got some wasps here. So I'm gonna... Let's see, he's... Like, if you squares me, I'm just gonna wait. I always do that. If they, if you can't get to him and hit him, like, once or twice, then just have them come to you. Let me kick this... Alright, I kicked the, the wasp in the shins there, so... Looks like he's down. Um... All right, I'll wait here. One difference, and this might have been in intentional. I mean, this this game in no way needs to mimic Fallout to a T, but in Fallout, it whenever you uh, let your action points go, like wasted action points, those each point would act as one extra AC. It's essentially, kind of like in Dean in Dungeons and Dragons, you could do like a um, a defensive, what is it, defensive stance or whatever. Anyway, it doesn't. This game doesn't do that, but. Not that big of a deal. So let me kick one of these guys. And just like uh, in Fallout, you can do aim shot. So, for example, you could hit him in the, the head, the arms, the body, the legs, or the eyes. So, and just like that, certain things are much harder to hit than others. Body's obviously the easiest to hit. Eyes are the hardest, generally. Ooh, I hit it in the eye. It didn't really seem to do anything, though. Generally, I find that these guys, just regular kicks seem to be the best. 
Which, honestly, if I were fighting rats, I'd probably be just kicking them and stopping them as well. So. Makes sense. So, I don't... I have not seen any actual loot on any of these little animals here. I don't know if I'm missing something, but... It's alright. Okay, anything else on the other side here? Not really. It's a shack over here I could check out. Um, so yeah, otherwise the game's pretty stable. Uh, I haven't run into any major bugs yet. It's got all the trimmings of a kind of top-down isometric. Not really isometric because it's a 3D game, but... Alright, I think this one's locked if I remember. So let me try to bust that guy open. Alright, unlock. Can't do the lock, can't break the lock. Might, I'm not sure if this game lets you jam stuff or not. It may... Oh, no, come back. I don't... Remember, in our Arcanum, you could jam if you failed enough, which sucks. Okay, I might just not have enough skill for this. So. Yeah, there's a specific word. Is this, I think this is three-fourths camera. This is top-down. Like, this is, a, this is true top-down. Uh, then you can do it to three-fourths, so... Isometric means that um, everything has got it. It looks exactly the same whether closer distant, which you can only really achieve with special camera work or usually um, with 2D backgrounds and 3D models or sprites or whatever. But, yeah. Oh, I think I spun myself all around. This is near the entrance. I can... I wonder if there's any other mushrooms around here that I missed. I know there's more on the other side. Okay, yeah, I was wondering about that. I th I was thinking that I'd probably get a knife. I did a I did get a butter knife last time, but I probably need a sharp knife. That makes sense. Oh, what's this? Ooh, looks like a little secret cache. Oh, I'll try to open the stash. Oh, knife. And it's st probably a stem pack. Yeah, basically stem pack. Some rounds. That was lucky. Cool. So let me equip that. So I have my kicking and my, my stabbing here. I don't know if I was particularly good at stabbing. Not particularly, but we'll try it out. So now, actually, if I go back, if the developers uh, know what they're talking about, which I assume they do since they made the game, <laughs> I can now loot these bodies, I'm thinking. Um, I doubt you could find guns on rats and stuff. Fallout didn't even do that. I mean, that was always like you only got certain drops from certain types of creatures. So, all right, let me try to try to use something. Uh, no. Oh, here we go. Remember when I looked at this guy before, he didn't have anything? Now he's got meat. That's pretty cool. I like details like that. Could be a little bit more explained a little bit more, but I mean, it makes sense. So I think those are the three guys I killed here. And I killed some more guys back here somewhere. Yeah, over here. So... Nice. Uh, there is something here, isn't there? Yeah. Cool. Got some extra meat. That's nice. Oh, so that means I could probably go to this guy and, and cook some meat with him. That's kind of cool. It's all coming together. Yeah, I mean, I, I personally don't mind not having tutorials, but there are things you can miss like that, and, you know, sneaking things in a dialogue doesn't hurt. Oh, now I'm in front of the dialogue. I've got my head in front of the dialogue now. Let me see if I can move my camera. Uh, sure, that's probably good. Cool. So, let me cook some roast meat. Uh, great. Oh, cool. 
I think I got some experience for that. Nice. So I got some health. I'll probably... I think I'm full of health now, if I remember right. Uh, actually, it doesn't say my maximum health. I'm assuming I'm full health. So, probably. So I'll keep my meat for now. Um, cool, cool. So yeah, so far I'm really liking the, the, what this game is going for. It's really, uh, solid and it really tries to emulate the kind of fallout feel, which I like, but it also has new ideas like the whole, uh, skinning animals with knives and, uh, a couple other things I noticed so far, um, where they, uh, yeah, survival and stuff like you've seen my, my hunger things gone there. So I really like the survival mode in, in New Vegas. So adding that to this sort of game is really a, a feature I really like. There's also radiation and stuff like that as well. Um, do these guys care if I steal stuff? Apparently not. I think it'll let me know if, if uh, what I'm doing is stealing. So, got cassettes. Oh, nope, that person noticed. I'll just uh, skedaddle here. Yeah, I like the, I like the look of it so far a lot. It's got a clean kind of look. I mean, it's it's decrepit and, and post apocalyptic but like there's it's got a sort of clean geometry to it, kind of like the old games, which is kind of cool. So I'm not nowhere near the end of this um, mushroom quest thingy. So I think more were over here if I'm right. Right, I went over here and I got. I got that uh, hidden stash, but now I'm off to hunt some more guys. And it looks like there's a wasp. No, it's an ant. Yeah, there's like big ants in this game apparently, so. Oh, he saw me. Uh, I'm just grab my, <laughs> I'm gonna grab a mushroom and run away. No. Um, let me let me have him come to me. Nice. So I can try stabbing him. A 57% chance as opposed to my uh, my 72% chance from kicking. So my knife may not be my best option, but I'll try it. Oh, one shot. There you go. That works. Yeah, I really like the the log box. That it it's very readable and simple, like the original Fallout games, and I do like that. Oh. All right, Mr. Ant. Okay. Are these guys aggroed or can I end combat? No, okay, end a turn. I'll take another turn or so to get to me. What happens if I kill two guys on one spot? I wonder if I can loot both their corpses. <laughs> Shalobit. <laughs> I get you. I see what you did there. Nice. Okay, I can get both corpses. Just a little, a little awkward, that's all. Cool. So, so far the knife does a lot more damage. First time I tried punching everything and I was only doing one damage. And then, uh... And then I started kicking things and did like two or three damage. And now this thing just seems to do a straight six. So that seems a lot better. As you would expect, uh, a knife would be more effective than unskilled punching. Um, they do have graves here, which I believe it hinted at the fact that you could dig them. Yeah, without a shovel at the ready, you cannot succeed. And if you watched my streams of Fallout, you'd know that the first thing I do when I get a shovel is I dig up all the graves. <laughs> so as soon as we get one, we'll have to see what uh, those poor souls have buried with them. Uh, let's see. Oh, nice little lake reflection. That's cool. One thing I always kind of liked about the Fallout games is you never saw the sky, so I always imagined it being really like rough and and kind of dreary and bleak. So I kind of like the fact that you can't turn your camera up and see like a bright sunny sky. 
Hey, Roust. Uh, thanks. I'm glad that people are enjoying the interview I did with uh, Julian. That's really awesome. Glad you enjoyed it. All right. So this guy, he's like a sort of like a fisherman who's apprehensive, let me put it that way, uh, about me. He's like trying to tell him to, to calm down. Uh, he's not really happy with me, but I can, if I keep on pursu uh, pursuing him, he'll eventually talk to me. Ask him about fishing. Uh, he says, I think he says something about you can fish, but you need, you need a uh, bait. Uh, so I don't know how I would get, oh, my quest log. What's that? What is the key for quest log? That's my character. Oh, there we go. Fisherman on the outskirts of the village is asking you to bring him a bottle of some pre-war hard liquor. Okay. I actually didn't get that out of the dialogue for some reason. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, this definitely has the old school... Uh, oh, I didn't even notice that spider there. Screw you, spider. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's a dodgy little spider. Oh, there's a wasp coming as well. All right, I need to finish it off in a spectacular way. Right, right in the eye, uh, right in the, not the eyes, the face. There we go. I'll wait for this wasp to get closer. Oh, one slash, that works. Seven HP, nice. Cool. Uh, Coriolanus, I've got a link to the Steam page in the video description. Just pull up on that and it should lead you right there. Hope you enjoy the game. Okay, so I get a perk for that. Um, I should probably find him some booze then. I thought I, found, saw, thought I saw some booze somewhere, but maybe I was looking in a box I wasn't supposed to get to. Oh, I'm distracted from the mushrooms again. I think there were some mushrooms up here. Did I miss them? I was playing this originally during the daytime, so it, everything was a lot brighter. That's a nice reflection off the water, though. I kind of like that. Uh, what mushrooms do I have? I've got four, so I have literally one more mushroom to get. <laughs> you know, it is. This probably is the first time I've uh, played with a developer in the chat, but I'm totally fine. Half the time, uh, the game, the chat always tells me the specific thing I need to do in any way. Anyways, it's pretty pretty standard. Um, I missed a mushroom somewhere, but I do not know where. Just kind of scanning around here. Did it, maybe I maybe it's behind something. I was looking at a different angle. No, oh, not over here. Um, I killed the guys there, but did I? Oh, there's the mushroom. Yeah, it's on the other side of the, the rocks here. Okay. That's why I missed it. Easy enough. Okay, cool. So let me get back into town and talk to the woman and not stab her. That would be ideal. Yeah, I like that kind of corrugated uh, metal look. I used to have a shed just like that when I lived out in the sticks. It was kind of funny. But, uh, yeah. It's kind of well, well thought out. Like, they've got a farm. They've got, you know, you could see how they put together the buildings. It's pretty cool. I like games that uh, build their world. Maybe I should. I feel so threatening when I have my knife out like that. All right. I've got your shrooms. Okay, so she looks them over with the eye of a professional and is satisfied with the quality. It gives you a smile. <laughs> I can use my barter skill. Um, can I look at my character? No, I can't look at my character while I'm 
out there. Uh, she looks them over the eye professional and satisfied with their quality gives you a smile. So I can try to sell her on the mushrooms or... Looks like this dialogue got cut off. Um, should I try to barter with her? I'll try to do a speech craft. I think that's higher. <laughs> that's true. I'm kind of role-playing as a stabby person. Oh, that worked, I guess. Oh, she gave me some rubles, and I leveled up. Nice. Okay, cool. So she played along with my little... Uh, you know, chivalrous roleplay right there, so. Got some coffee. 20 rubles. I can't I can't read rubles without thinking of uh, Mikhail Brishnikov in uh, that one movie about how he's a dancer and I don't know. It was a pretty cool movie. But he he does he does this one bet with this other guy and uh, for eleven rubles I believe and I don't know. For some reason I just can't get that out of my head whenever I see, see rubles now. So, all right, cool, cool. Let's see, can I level up? I can apply stats and skills now. Oh, I'm radiated. That's why my strength's down. Okay. I must have been too close to those uh, radiation pits or whatever, or maybe just the enemies radiated. But, cool, cool. Um, I should add, I don't have guns yet. So I'm wondering if I should add some to melee. But when I get guns, I'm going to want to shoot them very, very accurately. So I'm going to add the rest of guns. Uh, actually, you know what? Speechcraft has been getting me places so far. So let me do some more speechcraft. Cool. All right. Let's see. Is there anything in here? These guys might kind of get mad at me for stealing. I can try to talk to him though. It's a 50 year old man. So the art, some of the uh, portrait art is pretty good actually. Okay, he's asking about her water tower, if I can fix it. Um, all right, so the motor isn't working and the mechanics disappeared. Okay. So in my quest log, I see got to repair the water pump for the superintendent. I don't know if I actually really have repair, but I do need some liquor. So is there like a store nearby? This looks like a, I can't read Russian, but I'm assuming this is like a general store or something. Yeah, this guy looks like a store clerk. I've got a Wait, I don't have any rubles. Oh, those are... Right, okay. This is just the uh, worth. So rubles are just an item. Okay. So what does he got? He's got a pistol, which I really do want a pistol. I basically have to hawk everything I have to get it, though. And hasn't... I had to buy ammo, too. Got a qualitative... Qualitative knife? It's probably better than what I currently have for 82. Should let me look at my, I wish I could look at my actual equipment here. Uh, I could try to barter a discount. Nope. <laughs> nope, don't have barter, barter high enough. Okay, so my current knife is one to seven. That one was like four to eight or something. So the four to nine, so that's considerably better. I should go for the gun since that's what I've been putting my stats into, though. But damn. Um, it's the real deal coffee. But if I add my rubles, uh, I might want to keep on. Might want to keep the tape. Damn, I'd have to really, I'd have to hawk everything just for the knife, and I, I have not nearly enough for the gun yet. 
So I need to get some more stuff, I think. That knife would be good, though. It'd almost double my, my damage. Um, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't really look like he has anything for me, so... I should probably talk to the village elder since that was the guy. Was it the guy I talked to? I couldn't tell. Uh, oh, this is the guy, I think, isn't he? Oh, no, he's not Kovalev. Okay, he's somebody else. Uh, who's this then? Oh, he's rolling dice. Want to play some dice? Can I, oh, I can buy the dice from him. And a shiv. That's pretty cool. Um, I kind of want to play dice with the other guy. But I don't want to hawk everything that I have just to get it. I mean, I could I could trade it for the coffee and the spoon, but that would already lead me down to even less, even less stuff that I have. But hmm, I kind of want to try the dice. Oh, we'll try it. We'll do the spoon and the coffee. That's about right. We'll see how it goes. I just want to try the dice thing. Maybe the old man will play dice with me. Where was he? It was up here, I think, right? I always try to rotate back to where I was just because I get turned around. Yeah, he was up here. Cool, cool. Save it. I'm just kind of a saving fiend. Oh, that the date is the in-game date. That's kind of weird. Okay. It's going to be kind of hard to get my head around. Uh, yeah, let's play some craps. Um, five, ten, and twenty rubles. I'll bet five, I guess. I probably don't have any gambling skills. I'm probably going to lose. Okay, gets out the small wooden board. Oh. Alright, we'll try five rubles. Alright. I won, okay. Now that we made my money back, I'm going to try 20. Uh, yeah, cool. All right, I doubled my money. So I paid off. I paid off the thing. I wonder if I can... <laughs> I'd hate to do that. But I wonder if I could just save and keep on doing that to make more money. I probably could. All right. Cool. Um... So unless I can find the main guy, I have a couple of quests. Unless I can find Kovalev or whatever his name was, uh, I either have to find uh, hard liquor or try to repair the water tower. I don't think I have really have any good stats for that. Tinkering 26. Or would it be your tinkering or would it be, is there a repair? I'm guessing it'd probably be tinkering. Or technology. Probably something. I'll, I might as well try it, I guess. And where is the water tower? That's the question. What is this? Water pump. There we go. All right. So that's this. Let me just save it just in case I break something. Um. So let me try to repair it. Oh, I fixed it. Yay, that was easy. Okay, I either got it really lucky or I just had the... I'm not sure if this is a skill roll or skill gate. I'm not familiar enough with the camp for the uh, campaign to know which one or the other. I fixed it. The deed is done. Uh, so I, I probably want money for this. Now how about the payment? Wow, he's getting mad at me. Um, I'll try to speechcraft him. Ooh, <laughs> capitalist. 
All right, I managed to I managed to weasel him out a little bit more money. Where'd I get from him? Hundred. Wow, I got a lot of money out of him. I got 150 rubles out of that guy. Damn. Okay, so now maybe maybe getting this uh, let me save. Just in case I lose that. Maybe getting this gun isn't such a unreality as it was before. Oh, 340. Damn. That's, yeah, it's gonna be a lot still. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, definitely there's a lot of quick saving, quick loading and stuff like that, but unfortunately, um, I don't know. I don't want to be too cheap that way. I know you can do that with games. I just, I don't know. I, I don't like being so cheap about that. Buy soap, nails, sharpening stone. Do you items have... It doesn't seem like items have uh, durability, so I'm not sure what a sharpening stone would be. Maybe, maybe you're going to upgrade weapons. Um... I would I do want this gun, but Yeah, I agree, Adam. The lack of a proper lighting engine, like a good lighting engine would do the original games so much uh so much. I mean it has dynamic lighting, it just it was pretty simple. I mean they even it was even two hundred and fifty six colors, so yeah, it was very, very limited by the technology. But yeah, I do like this game has its uh lighting and all that. Um, I was here during the day, though, so I'm not sure if this is actually, uh, how long it'll actually take to become daytime again, but I should probably get a better knife. That's something I should probably do. Maybe I can trade in my old knife. Plus some rubles. Old knife. So just to check, one to seven, four to nine. Considerably better. Yes, and what would that be? Oh, it already calculates for me. Nice. That seems like a good deal. Oh, I didn't notice the smoke on that. That's pretty cool. Right, thanks for coming by the stream, guys. I really like your game so far, and uh, I'll post this whole video on my, my secondary channel, so you can check that out maybe probably tomorrow. If you want to see the rest of it, I mean, I'm sure you guys have a ton of feed feedback already, so... Yeah, thanks for swinging by. And thanks for the uh, Steam key, by the way. Alright, so... I think my barter's still the same, so I probably can't convince the guy for a discount, but at least I have some a better knife now. Cool. Um, yeah, I mean, it's probably really late over there in Russia. I think it's probably like eight or more hours later than the East Coast. So, I don't know where the main village leader is in this town. I think it's actually, the sun's actually coming up a little bit. I, can, I noticed the lighting changed. This guy's sleep. These people are sleeping. That's cool. Can I totally rip them off? Yes. Still their toilet paper and their soap. They're going to be unhygienic now. Amazing. Oh, is this the meat market? That's weird. I saw the uh, the Red Cross there, so I thought it was like a healer, but no, he actually seems to be making food. Oh, no, he does sell drugs and medicine and stuff, too. Okay. Ooh, I do want some more rubles. What can I sell this guy? So, rubles are really light, so... Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of grammar issues here. Like you see here, it's like it's too viable for that. Like they don't use the right to. Obviously, some some of the writing could be improved, but that's obviously something could be. That's like one of the easiest fixes in game making is just improving text files. That's pretty simple stuff. So it's not like if the actual game was broken or something like that, that'd be much harder to fix than just a couple words here and there. Um. Blah, blah. He's got some good stuff, but I just don't want to... I want to get my gun, so I don't really want to... Uh, boom. 
All right. Well, I've looked at this building. I haven't gone to this building yet, or that one yet, so let me see what's in here. This guy's got a cap on. Okay, so this is an older gentleman here. Got this letter of recommendation at the tavern. I'm looking for work you see. Okay, so this is the comrade. Great. Yeah, it seems like uh, anybody who's near Chernobyl has a better insight of, of uh, what a post-apocalyptic land would be than, than anybody in the U.S., right? You just get the uh, the wasteland designed by people from near Chernobyl, and then you get the uh, urban ruins de uh, designed by people from Detroit, and then perfect mix, right? <laughs> Uh, this is Atom RPG. This is a indie game that's currently in early access. It was released uh, yesterday. Um, the devs were nice enough to give me a key. Um, I have a link in the description to the Steam page. It's pretty cool so far. It is in early access, so it's not completely done. Okay, so this guy believes me I'm interested. Okay. So I'll wait silently. Okay, it looks like he's got the, this guy's got me a job. So let me uh, see what he's gonna have me do here. All right, I'm listening. Okay, so it looks like the village has a trader of some type in there. So I'm gonna have to probably f root him out. All right. So they're ratting people out and getting bandits to attack and things like that. So. So. All right. So basically, I'm the last hope to find this trader guy who's basically sabotaging the village. So let me uh, investigate for that. So he completely just trusts Yan and Petya on the north and south gates, respectively. They wouldn't work for him if they he didn't trust them. He doesn't quite... He's not quite sure about the traitor. Uh, and he suffers from the bandits, so it doesn't seem like he's very likely. The doctor... Uh, and old Semyon, I trust like I would trust myself. <laughs> We built this village together, you know. There are good people, tested by time and loyal. Comrade Grenkin, the village superintendent, on the other hand, is a cowardly, shifty person. But no, he's too cowardly. Okay. It's much more profitable for him to keep post in the village. Okay. Katya and Vazia Rachenko, the owners of the tavern, have no reason to be cinches. They would never do anything like that. Okay. He suspects that the traitor is a man, not too old, a person that travels from time to time, but is ultimately lazy. Okay. And those criminal types, they abhor honest labor. Cool. So I've got a little bit of an investigation to do. That's kind of cool. I like, I like, uh, I'm not sure about companions to answer your question, Donovan. Um, I haven't gotten that far. As you can see, I'm still in a, uh, albeit fantastic, uh, Ugly sweater. So I'm not quite I'm not quite dressed for the apocalypse yet. Uh, but I'm hoping to get some good gear and I don't know if they have companions in here. I, I don't know about you guys, but I always play Fallout just solo with a dog, usually, but you know, occasionally, you know, if Ian's not shooting me in the back or whatever, I I can pick up a second person. Okay. Oh, Gotta bring out my my next LaCroix. <laughs> uh, it's worth the price of mission right there. Cool. 
cool. Um, so the people he was shifty about, he wasn't quite. All right, who are these people? Let's see if I'm while I sleep. Can I? Can I go to sleep? I'm trying to see. Is there a way to actually pass time in this game? I'm not sure if there is. Rest. There you go. Uh, six o'clock probably. Yeah, probably be morning time. There we go. That's a little bit better. I am a little bit radiated though. I may need some radiation drugs. If we can interrogate this guy. Okay, he's deeply occupied. He's writing something down in his large old book. Upon seeing you, he puts away his sharpie away and crosses his. <laughs> That's funny. His sharpie. Um. Okay. Okay, he doesn't say any, I've got anything wrong, but I I probably have to buy anti radiation drugs to solve that radiation thing. Minus toxic. Med kit. Oh, okay. That minus is radiation, but it's pretty expensive, so let me not do that. Let me talk to this guy. Um, let me just ask him some random things. Okay, he's been here since the collapse. How's the job? Intense. Okay. All right. So this guy doesn't have any leads, and I think that was one of the guys that uh, the leader said he was not suspicious of at all, so. Um, actually, Answer your question, Maxine. I've not played it much. Um, I got a little bit of footage for the video. Um, I could try it out sometime, but I, from what I heard, it was very incomplete. So I do. I was very interested in that, though. But I mean, the game was canned, so it's too bad. I don't know if you really could take that game and finish it. And at this point, the Technology is pretty old, so I could grab some of this stuff. Nobody's here to take to question my uh, authority, so I'll grab that stuff. This actually looks a lot like what Van Buren would have looked like, obviously with a bit, with a bit more technology. Um, oh boy, what's in here? Who's this? An old man in a skull cap does what he always does. He opens his closes his teeth his mouth, whistling some forgotten melody. Hello there, Shani. All right. Uh, what does this guy want? Okay, this guy wants me to, to pick his, co his corn. That's a pretty easy quest, I guess. Probably get me some experience. Oh, he's got a shovel here. Sweet. We have our shovel. We can go and uh, take a look at those graves out back. Yeah, they basically took a lot of the basic ideas of the setting, like Kaiser's Legion and things like that, and put it into New Vegas, but the story itself was different. It did have a lot of things though, like the like the dam and everything like that that was in there in the game. And the design of the original game, I should say. Okay, I picked his corn. Doesn't have any money. Uh <laughs> I could try to I could try to make him look around some more or I could just have him just keep him keep it whatever 
And he slaps his forehead. Oh, he hands, out, he hands me a shotgun. Damn. That's cool. I wonder if you try to press him if he doesn't give you anything or if he gets you some coins. But honestly, a shotgun's way better than whatever I was wanting. Uh, I don't have any 7.62 rounds, though. Oh, I do. Can I reload that sucker? Nice, yeah. Okay, so I've got a, I've got a handful. Uh, what? Where'd they go? Where'd my ammo go? I don't know where my ammo went, but apparently it's in the gun now, so, okay. Cool. I got a gun randomly for picking some corn. Pretty fair deal. This person's sleeping there now. I need to find out who's uh, who's been conning the, uh, the town though. Let me ask the guards maybe. Maybe they'll know better. This reminds me a little bit of... Um, did anybody of you ever play the original game uh, Fallout's demo? I think it was called Junk Town or something like that. There was a variation of Junk Town. But it reminds me of this in, in that you spend like hours just going in the small like two zone area and there's just lots of little quests and things and hap happenings you can do. It was pretty fun. Uh, okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's see. I see everything in the barter. He's got nine millimeter rounds. Let me ask him about. Um, I'm just gonna ask him some random questions to see what he how he responds to see if he's suspicious or not. Usually, NBC writers will uh, hide little things in there to make you kind of to hint at if they're a good person or not. Uh, tell me about yourself. Blah, blah. What are you guarding the gate from? The crooked smile, a crooked smile appears on the man's face. You kidding or is that a trick question? Look around over in the middle of the wastes. Uh, all right. Any rumors? Oh, he said the same thing as the other guy in the gate. All right, so it doesn't seem like the guard, that guard is suspicious. It, they did kind of an interesting thing instead of Fallout, which is set in like the I think two thousand, uh, two thousand seventy is when the bombs go off somewhere around there, and you're set like ninety years after that, or every the exact timeline. But it's it's like the forties only. It's in like the you know two thousands. So you've got nineteen forties, uh, you know, theme and culture, but. You also have robots and stuff. All right, the the uh, shopkeeper was a bit suspicious. Uh, let's get some questions. Tell me about yourself. Okay, so before you came to this village, you worked in a large city. Uh, so many people there. Life is bustling. After I got tired of that, he came here for some fresh air, and that's that. You pick up on their grin in his voice when he speaks. Clearly, there's something he's not telling you. Okay, that's a little bit of a hint. That's a little bit of a hint. I know there's something you're leaving out. Maybe I can help you if tell me what's bothering you. Oh, success, cool. Oh, fine, why bother hiding anymore? You see, I was a big man in Krasnoznamini. Krasnoznamini, wow, that's a, that's a mouthful. I was a weapons, ammo, alcohol, and tobacco dealer. I had warehouses in the city. I was part of the trade house. I had a family, a wife, and a son. The trader looks, the trader looks through you. 
his sight aimed to the past. You succeed at finding the genuine man beneath the guise of smiling professional salesman. Okay. Well, but most big enemy, most big men have many enemies, and I had some too, so it turned out. How else could I explain the fires at my warehouses, the attacks on my caravans, the fact that someone tried to break into my house, and even after that, the troubles kept on coming. My workers started to leave me for different reasons. My guards said they wouldn't follow my caravans anymore. Some valuable contracts failed to deliver. Everything indicated something, sorry, someone was out to get me. No worse, someone was out to destroy me. All right, this guy keeps on talking. Um, he wanted to learn about his nemesis. He hired some sleuths. Uh, but the person that was trying to go after him was too tricky to find. He started drinking. Uh, he's very emo getting very emotional. His wife left him, took his son with her. He understands, but after that, somebody turned into an anonymous tip about me, claimed I was some sort of moral degenerate. degenerate. Uh, and he lost his position in the trade house. That he lied that they he'd worked with thugs and stuff like that. And he's escorted out of the city. I asked him if he suspected anybody. It could have been anybody. Um, and he has he feels unprofessional talking about this to a client. Um. Maybe I can help him out. Okay, so I think I might start a quest if I end up going to the city. This guy doesn't seem like the traitor, though. He doesn't seem like he gains anything from having bandits sabotage his own goods, so... Okay. Alright, so it looks like I, I start a quest with him, but I don't think he's the he's the traitor. Yeah, I played some Stalker the other day. That game's amazing if it actually worked. <laughs> I, I installed the Call of uh, Chernobyl mod, and that thing's amazing, but oh my god, it's so broken and buggy and stuff. I couldn't get it to work very well. But I would like to play some more of it. I did record some footage of it, which was pretty cool. Just how like dynamic all the characters are and how they like have own, their own AI and paths and things like that. It's just really, really interesting. I cranked up the monsters and the uh, the stalker count so that like little groups would go in battles with the, the monsters and stuff, and it was really really interesting. <laughs> That's the old guy. Give me a shotgun. Um, so who else? Oh, who's that? This guy is probably suspicious. He's young too. Okay, before he stands a tough, hard-looking man, aged around 45, he's wearing an old sunburnt shirt, short sleeves, and hard working pants. You see, uh, this is some of the stuff that they need to work on. I've never talked to this guy before, and number two is a dialogue, like a mid-dialogue uh, dialogue answer. So obviously some something got mixed up there. Like, that's great, can I ask you some questions? Like, this wasn't in the middle of a conversation, so yeah. Got some little dialogue things to fix here. Not too bad, but that's pretty much the only major problem I've seen in this game yet, so. Okay, ask him about the bandits. He clenches his large fists. The whites of his eyes go bloodshot. He watches his whole body shakes with a wave of poorly concealed anger. So, goddamn lawless jackals is what my opinion is. Instead of working like decent, decent people, they rob our village and peaceful travelers. Okay, so this guy seems pretty adamantly against the uh, bandits, but it's hard to tell. What is the old expression? Uh, the lady doth protest too much. <laughs> so he could just be a uh, hiding his his uh, situation. So he calls himself damned. It still shakes his fist. Okay. He looks sincere as his angle. Okay. Alright. So he seems like a worker. 
So I doubt this guy, he looked kind of suspicious from his portrait, but I doubt he's the traitor. He seems like too invested in work and things like that to be. It might be one of these people. Let me talk to the, uh, oh, who's that? Muscular man near the bar. He hints meats meat out of the can. He washes it down with vodka. Oh, it's another Adam Cadet. Oh, okay. Uh, should I pretend not to recognize him, or should I say, should I greet him? Okay, waves at me. Hey, knows my name. All right. So I'm gonna ask him what he what he's doing there. Okay, so I guess we were both sent after Morozov. Um, ask him if the wastes have been treating him well. Okay. All right, some weird dialogue here, but he's just saying that he's basically investigating a lead. And he doesn't want you stepping on his progress, basically. Okay. He's doing some bodybuilding. Okay. Okay, whatever. So he went out in the woods and drank a bunch. Probably hitting the vodka. Yeah, yeah. All right, whatever. Well, he's not really much use. Anyway, that's interesting, though. Uh, this guy may be a suspect. Okay, so this is a plump, red-faced man. About 25. Gives me a wide smile. All right. So this is, this is the guy who talked to the uh, military troop who stole my gear, so maybe I can find something from him. Any jobs? Uh, blah, blah. I think that's, that's another way to get her attention if you don't have the speech craft to get her attention or a presence to get her attention. All right, well, see you later, man. Uh, I hope you, yeah, it's probably pretty late there. I know I start pretty late for the East Coast. For West Coast people, it's fine, but for people in Europe, it's got to be kind of late. So make sure to check out my second channel, uh, um, subscribe to that, and you'll get the, the archive when I post it tomorrow if you're interested at all. All right, thanks for your advice. I'll ask him some more questions. Okay, they're local. Um, blah, blah. So this guy doesn't seem suspicious. Okay, he, th he thinks it's pretty great. And yeah, this guy doesn't seem to have any sort of any sort of indication that he's bad. I mean, in real life, you probably would never trip across somebody who did, but you know, it's, where's this person? I'll ask her what she thinks about the bandits. Oh, they killed her husband. Okay. <laughs> I guess she's got a pretty good reason not to like the bandits. What about this guy? This guy seems pretty good. Ask him some questions. Uh, how's the living? How's the health? 
All right, he's kind of insulted by asking about that. Um, let's keep on talking about the Communist Party, which is interesting. Oh, yeah, because this is based in the USSR, so they probably wouldn't have abolished communism. Interesting. All right. Uh, blah, blah, blah. What are you responsible for? So he's saying he's the leader of this place, but he's then he qual he qualifies that as saying called Kozlov is the word leader. Quite often these kind of things are done by in movies and stuff. They're often done by the the second in command, the guy who wants to actually be leader. Um. What rumors? Seems that your pro your charming personality did the trick. The man's looker. Man looks around like a thief and really gets close to you. He whispers loudly. Saw it with my own eyes. One heck of a story, comrade. We have this traitor in our village, a shifty fellow who enjoys acting like he knows everything. Like he knows the Brezhnev's trilogy by heart or something. It disgusts me to see his sug it disgusts me to see his smug face. But a few days ago we had this traveling caravan in the village from Krasnov's I'm not gonna even try to say that. From Krasnov's city and saw how this man groveled in front of some of the traitors, begging them for something. All his pride, all his self-esteem vanished, peeled off like a shabby paint. Seems he has some secrets of his life after all, some skeletons in his closet. I knew it all along. Huh. All right. Well, he seems kind of suspicious, but I did all the dialogue options. I can't get anywhere. Let's see you, Gown. See you next time. Oh, I see you're saying bye to everyone else. Sorry. I misunderstood that. Okay. This guy I bought the dice off of. This guy might be kind of a little bit shifty. He's fairly young, too. Um, Want to play some dice? Oh, right. It's illegal inside of town. Tell me about yourself. He's a hunter. That's not illegal, huh? All right. So he might be a little... Doesn't seem too happy here. And he goes to the city. There's gambling, there are good drinks, and the women are not shy at all if you get my drift. Half of them in that city are probably raising my kids nowadays. How do you like that? Okay, so he's a little shifty. Uh, shrug my shoulders. Heard any rumors? So that somebody actually made a movie. Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't, there's not any leads to make me think he's suspicious, but he doesn't. He seems kind of. He kind of fits the bill. He travels. He's young. He's a man, and he's not particularly happy here. So. Yeah, it looks like there's a couple systems in here. It looks like you've got actual speechcraft checks and you have like a a personality. Um, almost like the reaction system in, in Arcanum from what I can tell. I notice certain things add, add or minus from personality. So I don't have anything to add to it yet, but I've noticed a couple times a prompt has come up and said, you know, personality. So I'm guessing that's probably something, some other mechanic. All right, what other houses have I not tried out? Work can wait. I better go to sleep. All right, she's suspicious. <laughs> uh, that looks nothing like that model. That's weird. Ask about the bandits. 
The woman puts a hand in her mouth and looks around fearfully. It seems to be a topic scare that very topic scares her. Those bandits are terrible people. It's scared from her husband the most. He's a proud man, and it's not his custom of being disgraced. Okay. They're terrible. All right. She keeps talking about her husband could be killed by them. It doesn't seem like she's a liar. That's what it says. All right. Well... Their sons are living in the city. All right, the kids aren't really outgoing with what they're doing. They could actually be involved in something illegal. All right. He took her to me, he's all smiles, blah, blah, blah. He's a caravan guard. I always nag about him out him about it. I tell him to go live with the siblings in the big city. He just laughs it off stubborn, just like his old dad. Um, heard any rumors? There's a women-only resort. Weird. Okay. Um. Okay, how's life out here? There's five ones stink. Okay. So I'm almost thinking that their this whole dialogue about their sons could be a lead. Yeah, it's been a common thing with a lot of games. Um, it might not be her hair, actually. Uh, right, the tech specialist disappeared because he was the guy who was supposed to repair the water thing that I did. Oh, she said something about the tech specialist, but this time I'm sure he didn't disappear because of his bad habit. I think it's because he was bragging his, his last days in the village, bragging about becoming... She stares around before saying, becoming a millionaire. Quite the mystery, that, right? Okay. That could be a lead as well. I think that's just a rag around her head, but it doesn't... It definitely doesn't look like her. Like, the model looks different. Oh, well. That's just nitpicking at that point. So it could be the tech guy. I mean, I'd have to ask every single person, I guess. All right. She spits in disgust. All right, so she doesn't think highly of them either. I mean, who would actually just say, oh, you know what? I love the bandits. <laughs> that would be a pretty weird thing to say, right? So. Is this the... I think this is the place. Let me see if he responds to me. Actually, maybe this guy? I mean, I doubt his, his bodyguard would be the traitor. That'd be kind of silly, but... Yeah, I doubt it's that guy. Let me tell him about the... Katya Rechenko. Alright. Your voice did change when you spoke about her. He shivers as he hears your words, and he then pouts and begins talking in academic matter. I was a good friend of her parents back before the war, back before she was born. She grew up in their village and she was very, very close to it. She's like a daughter to me. The last remind, the last reminder of her mother and father, my friends. Okay, so I'm gonna try to speech craft here. Ooh. So I failed that speech, speech craft. Um. So it seems like there's something. You see a young man with a mustache who's wearing a headpiece. He's fixing a village TV. The man is wrapped up in his work and is paying no attention to you. Although when you're about to address him, he jumps as if he were electrocuted and quickly turns to you. Oh, I wish you wouldn't sneak up on people like that. What's the matter? 
How's your work going? No idea. Everything seems to be working. Or maybe not. A TV, I've got to say, is too fragile for our land. A radio would be a better, would have been a better choice, but no, they wanted to see the picture. It produces a better effect. Damn show-offs. Who are they? Well, our dear fathers of the Chamber of Commerce. They are the bosses of Craig Krasnozmanoni. They just decided that the best way to demonstrate their power in the rest land was to show propaganda on TBD day and night. All right, I many people far with propaganda. All right, I'll just kind of skip through this. This doesn't seem relevant, but. All right, so the fact that TV isn't very common out here, people kind of get entranced by it, so the propaganda works better. That's an interesting little detail. Um, tell me some rumors, blah, blah, blah. There's two seas to the east of here. It started shelling even before the war. Uh, okay. I don't mind it at all. I visit the farms and villages, make sure all the TVs are working properly. It's no easy job. I've got to tell you, they break all the time. While the local techies can seldom deal with them. What do you do? That's life. Who do you work for? Chamber of Commerce, another personally. Okay. Okay, so this isn't the repair guy that the village lost. It seems like that's my biggest lead. If he's somehow thought he was getting a lot of money and disappeared. Oh yeah, see, see you later, Donovan. Thanks for watching. I'm glad you enjoyed my content. Appreciate that. I talked to that guy. There's nobody in here. I'd like to finish this quest before I go, but I mean, maybe I'll take a break and do the, uh, go over there and do that, uh, dig those graves. Yeah, let's do that. Probably save before it in case I screw something up. Yeah, Ferrodactyl, I, I had the same issue with Wasteland. There was something about it that could just kind of turn me off. I don't know what it was. I haven't played the director's cut that much, so maybe that would be better, but it was just something that kind of turned me off. All right, let me try. Got to put the shovel at the ready. Ooh, rubles. Who gets buried with rubles? It'd be much better used by people who are living. Nails and a fork. Uh, hopefully people don't hate me for this. Empty bottle. If he was buried with some booze, it probably would last quite a while, actually. Nothing. Got two more. Nothing. Compact cassette and wires. All right. Well, I mean, it's free stuff, so. What's this guy here? All right. I could probably, uh,. Slash this mofo. Nope. It's not dead. Boy, die next time. Next turn. Die a little bit. Nice. Yeah, I didn't. I, it's no fault of the game. It's just uh, I have a hard time getting into full team tactical games, especially when it's an RPG on top of that. There's just so much management and inventory and things like that. It got a little bit much, but I mean, XCOM has the same thing, but it's a lot more streamlined, I guess. So it didn't bother me as much in that game. Uh, 
I didn't get any booze today. I didn't. I had an empty bottle. <laughs> yeah, I could have left one grave, I guess, but. Rask match some liquor. Oh, uh, blah, blah, blah. So he's just a hunter. Okay, this guy doesn't seem to be very suspicious. Is he, can he trade anything? A metal. All right. I don't really know who else would be around here to do anything then. I'm assuming this is the entire zone of the city, so there's nobody really else that could do. Unless I miss somebody inside of town. I'm sure it's there. This guy was just some random traveler, right? Tell about yourself. Your rumors. His life. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so there must be somebody else in the town. Who's that? That might be somebody. Huh. No, this is not Fallout. This is Adam RPG. This is a game inspired by the Fallout games, but made by independent developers. And yeah, it's pretty cool. You can obviously tell the UI and whatnot is very similar to the old old school fall games but there's some updates and new features and things like that it's pretty cool i like it so far before he stands a thin middle-aged man with bony complexion blah blah, blah. the sunburnt visage projects immense boredom and fatigue okay that's already one hint hey can i can ask you some questions while the man smiles and nods it's in his dim eyes there's a spark of interest for a moment just for a moment please tell me about yourself this probably sounds funny to you, but I'm part of a, of the Intelligentsia. Well, I was, anyway. Before the war, I worked as a columnist in a small regional paper, blah, blah, blah. But now I do manual labor, just like anyone else around. Uh, what's new around the village? You're the newest thing around, it seems, sir. Sorry, I meant comrade. It's hard to shake off old habits of speech. Now our doctor, uh, Mikoka, never cared, cared to use the old speech. Okay. Never cared to lose the old speech, okay. How's life out here? We work hard mostly. It's been a couple of years since me and my wife moved here in comparison with most other villages. This is real paradise, even for the name Atradione. Atradione, yeah, done it. Right, it's hard to say. Okay. Heard any rumors? One traveling preacher, one of those crazies you know, or the type that travel the world, prefer gather garbage and speak nonsense. Uh, said he saw an eagle. Uh, I think I asked him everything. Oh, I don't know if he's particularly, uh... Hey, Sned, welcome to the stream. Um, from what I've played so far, it's a lot more Fallout than Wasteland. Um, it's, it's similar to Wasteland in that it's a 3D, you know, presentation, but it's very similar to Fallout and it's at its core. So yeah, it seems pretty good so far. I'm just trying to find a traitor here, but it's proving harder than it should.
This is really one of the guards. No, I already went through all of his dialogue. Let me ask the front guard again. This guy seemed friendly, but... Okay. Uh, some questions. Heard any good rumors? <laughs> Apparently the Boy Scout troop got all feral and worshipped the devil. <laughs> Weird. All right. He was talking about the bandits, but I doubt he's I doubt he's suspicious just because he he'd be the first person to have to deal with them. <laughs> exactly. You get your Eagle Scout for uh, sacrificing your, your brethren to the devil himself. Um. Alright, well... Doesn't seem... <laughs> Sounds shitty. That's a pretty good <laughs> reply, actually. All right. Well, I'm not getting. I'm not getting. That's this guy again. That woman again. What about that woman's husband? Yeah, her. No. Where's her husband? Marietta. Ahmed. All right, I think I've talked to everybody at this point. <laughs> Elder Horror, that's a good one. Play Call of Cthulhu much? Ooh, herbal mix. Oh, mix of some questionable herbs, I see. <laughs> I wonder if I can get a uh, beer for that guy if he'll train me or something. I'm wondering how much is this, does this guy sell it? Let me see. No, he sells mostly ammo and stuff. Nah. Oh, maybe the tavern guy might sell something. Well, he's, uh... Did he actually even want to trade with me, though? Oh. Pre-war vodka. Yeah, nice. Okay. So I can get some of that, probably. Uh, does he need... Did he need vodka, or did he need, uh, anything? Hard liquor. Okay, it's not port wine. Not port wine, I don't think. Vodka's pretty strong. All right. What? Oh, only twenty-seven. Okay. Can I? I'll give him a couple, couple forks. A spoon. Should be. Right, I'll just, I guess I'll just make the difference with the rubles. Okay. Trade. Cool. All right. Let me just finish this quest with this guy up here then. I don't think there's anything else I'm missing up here. Couldn't tell. I don't. 
I think the uh, developer is giving me hints or whatever about different things. You're looking for some hard liquor? Here's some vodka. Nice. Now that you've filled your side of the deal, it's my turn. Listen carefully and remember. Fisherman explains to you how to field dress the bodies of giant ants, wasps, and spiders. Every critter has its own nuances, but can be dismembered even without a knife. Even a sharp stone will do. You can also learn that the favorite foods of the local fishes are ants, spit glands, wasp legs, and spider brains. The world is such a marvelous place. Marvelous place. Oh, nice. So he taught me, let me see if I can find some ants that I killed, like right here, for example. There we go. I have to loot everything that I just killed now. So I, I can fish now, I guess? Apparently. I might need some sort of pole, though. He didn't give me a pole, did he? I can at least field dress these guys, and <laughs> when I do get a pull, I'll have a lot of, a lot of uh, bait, I suppose. Okay. Any more of these corpses I can loot? I did, I did a couple guys in here. Cool, cool. All right, well, I oh, mean, me think maybe the chair would work. Might be a big swing, swing bast as a chicken. I think a chicken would be super valuable in the post apocalypse. bait I haven't looked at these guys yet okay The inventory system is pretty similar to the original Fallout. I mean, it's probably a little bit mm, spruced up a bit. I don't personally mind it. I think they probably could they could have you know cleaned up a bit, but I don't mind the old Fallout system. Oh right, oh yeah, it is highlight. You guys in chat are smart, aren't you? I'll use the ant spit gland as bait. Okay, you yawn while looking at the clear surface of the lake. All is quiet. Wait, blink a few times. Look around, it's all clear. Wait. A squashing wing mosquito that tries to bite you in the neck and the ground. Everything is quiet. Silver your neck a few times while biting on the inside of your cheek. All is quiet. Whistle a little melody. <laughs> Wait. A bite. All right, let's pull. Oh. It got away. I use a spider brain. A horn smelt. Cool. I caught a fish. Spider brain. Wait. 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 
Wait. A slow melody. No. Okay, I'll do the wasp legs. Oh, I'm really hungry. I should probably go eat. I'll cook up some of that meat I got. This guy. Wherever he is. Where'd he go? Yeah, my hunger meter is pretty high, pretty high here. Ooh, strength two. Damn. That really gives you a pretty big debuff. That'd be awesome if we got mutant chickens, wouldn't it? Get like eight wing, 12 breasts chickens like this big. <laughs> oh, I can make some herbal tea. Uh, roast meat. Cool. Neato. If I take a chicken, the whole town could <laughs> go for blood. I don't know. Seems like it's always like that. They always they always put the the chicken is in. As like a town NPC for some reason. It's like it's just a chicken. Come on, guys. You catch a few uh, fish or whatever, right? Yeah, I catch a horn, smelt, and hump back. All right, I really would like to find the trader in this place, but unfortunately, it doesn't seem like I'm actually going to be able to do it easily. Let's see if there's any, well, I should talk to the girl that he that he was kind of, you know, uncomfortable about. Oh, can I talk to the dog? Nope, can't talk to the dog. That'd be an amazing, that'd be an amazing, uh, Throw back to Fallout though, if you could feed the meat to the dog and get him that way, that'd be pretty cool. Alright, I've already talked to these guys, right? That's just uh, Ahmed and old woman. But her. Okay, uh, tell me about yourself. I can flirt with her. Oh, what did I have? Did I have... Uh... I don't have a ton of strength. I have intellect. No, I didn't have intellect. What did I have? Lord. Personality? Oh, it worked. Wink to the girl and she goes softly. Surely, sure, it's pretty silly to brag about yourself like that, but you're quite the charismatic fellow and you're confident in your skills. The girl blushes. Okay. Um, what are you doing? Gives her notebook a tired look. She doesn't seem like very suspicious. I don't I don't know. Maybe it's just a dead end here. Yeah, I did ask about I, I did talk to the head about her, but I failed the uh, skill check. It's a speech calf check, I think. Okay, mushrooms yourself. Any good rumors? All right. Yeah, she doesn't seem to have anything. I don't know if I found anything. I wanted to tell him about the uh, the suspicious. No, I don't have any. I don't have anything else to tell him. Damn. There's clearly some other uh, dialogue thing. 
<laughs> That's not a Christmas so special, yeah. Well, he told me, like, the, the profile, basically, that I should be looking for, which is a young man, travels a lot, doesn't work very hard. Um, yeah. Cowardly or smart. I could just ask him straight up about the bandits. The man's face stays the same, and he doesn't expose any emotions your words should have brought out. His manner stays the same, and his gaze is still pretty saucy. Thieves are thieves. What's there to say? They survive, that's it. He spits to the side and looks at you insolently, right in the eye. Do they suspect somebody inside the village? Is there a spy around? And why are you interested anyway, comrade detective? Well, what if I want to join them? I'll I'll play along this game. Yeah, look. What if the one who's working with the bandits just left the village quietly? Quietly? Quietly, I guess. Making no trouble for you or anyone else. Out of sight, out of mind, as they say. And we decide you're done with all the bullshit. Sleeping under rocks, stealing dog food, and all that stuff. There'll be a position available for you in our... I mean, their bandit camp. Okay, so this guy's obviously it. It's located not too far from here in an abandoned factory. Well, how do you like that career opportunity? <laughs> Let's make this perfectly clear. You're the village snitch, right? Really? That's the only dialogue I have right now? That's silly. Whoa, whoa, quiet down, man. Yes, that's me. Although I resent being called a snitch. I'm more of an inf infiltrator, you see. Got here, got sent here by my group. Anyway, my proposition is open if you're still interested. Oh wow, so I could I could convince him to pay me to keep quiet. <laughs> Just don't leave yet. All right, so I gotta I gotta tell Kovlev that that's a snitch, I guess. Although I would like to, oh, can I can I speechcraft him into into paying me, and then can I snitch on him? No, I can't do it any again. Damn it. Uh, I wanted to be able to to get money out of him and then and then ride him out. It'd be awesome. Oh well. Guess we'll just have to settle with Ooh. Should I pull that button and just call him old right out, out of the gate? This guy seems like he kind of was like, you know, duh, it was him, but. <laughs> Alright, well, we have to just. We have to dispose of Grishka the Snitch. This much is clear to me, but how? I don't want to spread panic throughout the village and make people nervous. It must be so disposed of quietly so nobody knows this is. I would be glad of help with the disappearing. Okay, so we've got to figure out a way to quietly get rid of him. Ooh. He wants me to straight up kill a guy. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna say before I do a dirty deed like that. All right, Grishka. Yep. <laughs> 
it's, what is this dialogue? Listen, you don't have anything going like, over to the, anything against going over to that building building over there, right? Uh, looks at you suspiciously, his eyes and his surroundings again his trust. You need to trick him somehow. Trickle him somehow. Uh, listen, pal, two of my buddies are looking for a place to stay just like I am. They're squatting in that abandoned building a house over there. You should probably pay him a visit. I don't know what I'm good at. Speechcraft, I guess. <laughs> this guy is way too trusting. So we're going to head off to the... Uh... Alright, Grishka. Which abandoned building is he going to? I guess I'll just follow him. Is it this? No. Yeah, it's that one, I guess. Yeah. I see this little rock path here. It's cool. Yeah, seriously, how could he fool the village that long if he's, like, a complete idiot? I'm sure you could... The dialogue just has to be a little more convincing. It's like, you don't have anything against going over to that abandoned building over there, would you? It's just, like, really... It's like, okay, that's... That's kind of silly. Get to, get to trap my new shotgun. All right, buddy. <laughs> Death, shall be, Death shall be the main course today, and I am the chef. Oh. Ow. Okay. I shoot him right in the head. Ow. Or miss. That works too. Ow. Okay, this guy's actually hurting me a bit. Uh, head again? Oh, there's no ammo? I had ammo. I think it got rid of my ammo somehow. It, like, consumed all my ammo. That's weird. Guy's probably gonna kill me, actually. <laughs> yeah, this guy's probably gonna murder me. Yeah, I'm dead. All right, let me try. Let me try a different tactic. Let me just stab him right from the beginning. Or I could surprise shoot him. Give me his eyes. Nope. That didn't work. Ooh. That hurt him. Didn't like that too much, did he? All right, we've got a whiff simulator here going on. Sadly, no groin stab here. 
That'd be the best way to take him out. That's how I played Fallout. I so just stabbed him in the groin repeatedly. Nope, miss, miss. Oh, it killed me again. No. <laughs> All right. I should even bother with the gun. I only have one bullet. Somehow my in all my uh all my rounds just went into one bullet for some reason. I don't have anything else, so Alright, well Ow. Oh, he still gets two attacks off if I move two steps away. <laughs> this is like the most <laughs> gruesome stabbing contest here. Alright, maybe I should just do slashing from now on. This will do more damage, probably. Him. He has three whole attacks on me. Yeah, he's got me. Oh lord! All right, I gotta go kill this guy somehow. Maybe I'll take a uh, just a regular shot at him. Yeah. Fourteen damage. That's a little better. And I'll stab him. Right in the back. Alright, he's already injured now. Jesus. So he does get three attacks if I if I stay in, in place. But I probably do more damage with slash. Yeah, a little bit more. There. Okay. That was a lot more complicated than it needed to be. Alright. Well, the job is done. It's kind of a fitting ending to uh, post-apocalyptic uh, slithery. Okay, I'm gonna turn it around now. All right, it's here, right? It's done. Never mind the shotgun blast you heard. Just you know, 50 yards that way. It's done. I thought I'd ask Peachy to do this. Lie of the North Gate, he's got a lot of fight in him. I wanted to look him to look into the traitor's eyes before he killed them, just to understand what it's like. Maybe it's for the best that you did it instead of for him. Okay. Oh, he's giving us more uh more work. <laughs> so he wants me to spy for him in the Bennett's camp. Kind of flip it on him. That's interesting. Oh yeah, and Bruges was a really weird but funny movie. I like that movie a lot, actually. Or in Bruges, I guess it's called. All right, so the I got a piece of paper on the the thief's or the traitor's body that I could probably use to get into that commune. That's kind of cool, I guess. Okay, cool. 
So I got some experience points. I'm just about to level. I've got some rubles. I should probably get some more guns and ammo now that I actually have some money. Glad it wasn't this guy. This guy seemed to have a pretty sad tale on his own without having to complicate it further with betrayal. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. Where does gun go? Doesn't this guy have a gun? Oh, does his loot change? Oh, no, he doesn't have his gun anymore. I think his loot might change. Uh, he doesn't have the pistol anymore. That's too bad. Oi. I wonder if the uh, doctor will heal me up for free. Let's see. Need help, doctor. Let me look. Okay, give me a drug. Oh, cool. So you helped me for free. Nice. Yeah, it's so weird that he used to have a pistol there, and I wanted to buy the ammo for it. I think it was 9mm, but I don't want to buy the ammo now without getting the gun. Maybe his, um... Uh... Maybe, maybe I can uh, save it and uh, rest. Until be the next morning. Let's see. Oh, this stuff didn't reset, it seemed. That's too bad. Yeah, I was looking for a pistol. That's too bad. Oh. I didn't even see what the dialogue was. Weird. Oh, so somebody he gave me the gun for free. Weird. I don't know. That's odd. So as you use it uses nine millimeter, so I should buy a bunch of nine millimeter ammo. I didn't see it, Alex. I don't want you. <laughs> I might just like skim through dialogue, I guess. Um, blah, blah, blah. I didn't expect him to give me the his number one item for free. That's that's, that's not too unusual. All right, so that needs um, 7.62 rounds. I should get some 7.62 rounds and some nine millimeter for my pistol, right? Oh yeah, he didn't give me a shotgun, did he? He gave me a hunting rifle. That's weird. They need to fix that dialogue, I guess. Okay, it's gonna cost a little bit of rubles, but I've got I've got rubles. Sell some nails, some soap. Some 
random stuff. Uh, how much does Herbal Mix go for? Not, not a whole lot. Spoon. I don't know if I'll need any of this stuff. That's the thing. I don't think I will. I could sell. Uh, I do. I do want to have some food on hand. Let's give a little bit of money for that. So I, I could even that out with uh, rubles, I guess. All right, that seems like a good good deal. Let's trade. Cool, so I've got some ammo. I've got a hunting rifle and a pistol. That's considerably better than I started. I would like to get something better than a uh, ugly Christmas sweater, sweater though. That would be nice. So I could probably, maybe I hit the camp and then end off probably. That'd probably be a good idea, I'm thinking. Maybe if I head up this way. I'm like really, I think I'm really close to leveling, like yeah, within a hundred. Okay, just loading. Thought I crashed for a second. Uh oh, shh, no, 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 no. It's kind of cool though. It's a map thing. It's like a, it's yeah, it's the world map. That's pretty neat. I'm trying to guesstimate how big the world is based on the texture. It looks like it goes from here. Oh. It isn't that big. Hopefully it's bigger than that, but you know, I don't know. I mean, this is a small team, so yeah. So what, what is my infiltrate the gang for the village head? Is it the factory? Probably. Let's go there, I guess. Yeah, it definitely looks like a little bit like Wasteland 2, right? Oh, random encounters. Yay, I love random encounters. Um, talk your way out, chance 35%. I will try to talk my way out. Success, nice. Cool. See kids, talking your way out is sometimes the, op is sometimes the uh, answer. Hungry though. Um, is that camp? <laughs> the silent pause always scares me. <laughs> that looks nice and radiated. I should avoid that. Okay, so it wasn't actually camping. This is just the warehouse. That's gonna be a, it's gonna be a tough battle, I bet. Why don't I have anything better than a damn Christmas sweater? Oh uh, Lord! All right, this guy looks pretty butch. Okay, this main entrance over here, yeah. Oh, I better save it again.
Where's the main gate? I thought that... Oh, crap. I didn't mean to walk that way. Oh, he one-shot me. Damn. I just meant to... I'm going to show him the paper and stuff. Main entrance. That seems like another exit. Is that the main entrance? Yeah, I guess it is. Okay. I'll just head over that way. Don't mind me, sir. Hello there, sir. All right, maybe I'll stay silent. Okay, so here's where I flashed the thief's passport. Okay, so he's saying that the that the people that have these passports are kind of hacks. So. So these guys are looking to be kind of like a weird sort of mercenary police state. Huh. <laughs> I'm all for the power of law. Nice. Got a level up. So, Dennis Denisovich, <laughs> creative name. Um, oh, cool. They're all like super friendly now. All right. That works. Nice. Um, all sorts of radiated, though. Definitely need a better aim. But I've been getting a lot of cool alternative uh, options with speech gusts, so I'm always going to put some into that at each level. Nice. I'll cook something. Oh, yeah, I'm hungry. I'm going to cook some meat. Roast some meat. Cool. What does the herbal tea do, though? There are no quality control in the waste, so drinking it could be dangerous. Let me save real quick and then uh, drink some of that, that sweet herbal tea. Oh, I either get one to endurance or poison yourself. Meh. Not really worth it. I wonder if some of these are backers. It could be actually. Quite often in games like these that are kickstarted, they one of the one of the tiers is getting your face and name in a game, which is kinda cool. So I had some sweet uh, memes set up for uh, today in case anybody mentioned it, but um, we had a couple people. I don't remember who it was. I think it was uh, people would say it was like the Dark Souls of whatever. So when I when that was going to come up, I was going to do this. <laughs> so a little Dark Souls pop up, which was kind of funny. 
And then I've got the LaCroix, then I've got the Roy Drager here, which is pretty, pretty good. Just for some, uh, some meme magic there. And of course the LaCroix I used earlier. Um, also had a little pop-up ready for people who, uh, if they do any super chats or anything like that, so... Just in case anybody wanted to do that, I had a little bit of something special for that as well. Got a uh, nice little stream deck so I can I can set up some kind of cool commands and fun stuff and switch ups every one now and then, so... It's kind of neat. Anyway, yeah, I mean... I do seem to do a whole lot, and this area doesn't seem like a place I would really <laughs> do any combat in just because... Uh, I have like two guns and I'm surrounded by guys who want to destroy me. But yeah, if you're uh if this so far seems interesting, I'd have I'd take a look at the game. I mean it's pretty uh it's pretty well developed. I mean it's it's got its it's got its quirks, especially in the dialogue and the, the translations, but I mean the developers seem really, really invested into the game. They've uh supposedly been putting ooh, ammo. And nobody's around to stop me. Cool. I love it when you can take advantage of areas like this. Uh, they seem really invested in the game. They've been putting in a lot of hours into it. Uh, obviously, a lot of a lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into this game, and you know, obviously backer backing and whatnot. But uh, you know, for a crowdfunding game, this has been pretty good. They're actually ahead of schedule. Their their uh, Kickstarter said I think February two thousand eighteen, so this game could actually be a full release by that time. But at least they got a, a uh, early access several months early. I mean, games are games; they could take much longer than they than you initially think. So it's quite possible it may take longer. But I mean, they are definitely uh, trying to adhere by the schedule they put forward. So that's. Definitely respectable because a lot of uh, a lot of games, crowdfunded games, have gone really, really off uh, schedule and have really kind of dampened the uh, spirits and the uh, trust that gamers have in crowdfunded projects. So, so yeah, seems like a pretty good, pretty great little game. I mean, it's I haven't gotten too far into, it, so I don't have like final thoughts. But first impressions seem to be pretty positive. This this is the closest. Uh, I felt to the original Fallout games since Fallout 2, so that's definitely uh, something to be something to be positive about. So, all right. So I'm deciding if I want to. I think I'm at a pretty good stopping point, so I might end off here. May do some Hellgate or whatever next week. We'll see. But hopefully you enjoyed the stream. Uh, I always put my... Uh, what do you call it? Archives on my second channel, which is in the description. It's also on my main YouTube page. I'll probably end off here. And yeah, I hope that everybody had a great time. I had a good time. Um, so I appreciate everybody who's came on the stream today. I really do. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments or on my other pages what you'd like to see. I might do more of this might do more hellgate i might do some titan quest next week i'm not sure yet but uh so yeah have a great day and i'll see you next time and to go out